All right. Let's go on to the next. And you know what? To the next, let's go ahead and just pull it out of a sphere. Let's try it that way. I showed you, you know, using the Z modeler. You can choose to do that or not to do that. All right. So let me look one more time on my inspiration sheet here. On my inspiration searches, I should say. Is he a 20 arm god? Is he a fallen angel? Turned into some wicked beast? And, you know, it's, <laughs> oh, I did, a, I'll share this with you guys. This right here, Simon's asking what that is. That is from a Y-Wing fighter. I had done some, uh, a couple little bonus material things for Kirill's class. I'm doing hard surface and ZBrush, and so I was showing off uh, my ship, and I was showing like some of the stuff I was pulling inspiration from because Star Wars is it now. Like I was four years old when the first Star Wars came out, saw it in the theater, and I was a changed kid, <laughs> as I'm sure every kid is when they see Star Wars, or every guy is when they see Star Wars for the first time. You know, not to be misogynistic or anything, but I'm just saying like you know. Always have a tendency to gravitate towards spaceships, all that. It's kind of cool, a little more humanoid. Don't think I want to go in the realm of wings, but there's something cool about that, just the beauty of that deco work. Really, really nice. But I don't want to stare at any one thing for too long, otherwise I'll start imitating it. I don't want to Minotaur. It's good stuff. Reminds me so much of was it episode uh, was it episode two or episode three. <clears throat> Which I'm not a huge fan of, but can't really completely hate on Star Wars. Really excited for. Uh, See what Abrams does from some stuff that I've seen. It looks pretty damn good. So I'm looking at some Blizzard stuff and maybe seeing something that's a little bit different from what where my comfort zone sits. So I don't typically do a lot of style like stuff, but look at that. I mean, that's this is beautiful. And you know, it's funny. I'm they, some of the stuff is. is is probably, you know, there's a lot of Blizzard fan art in here. Um, but I'll look at that too. You know what I mean? Like, it's honestly like, pull it from anywhere. Look at that. That's a, that's beastly. I love that concept. Plain Barlow, Ganesha, Centaur, Japanese mythology. Let's go here. Look at that. Oni, Kappa, Kira. An adipose. <laughs> That's not Japanese mythology. <clears throat> you know, one artist, if you guys do want to get really inspired by like a Japanese flavor, um, actually two guys. One, um, we're going to start with Miyazaki, of course. So let's do a little uh, spirited away. Hopefully you guys all know who uh, Miyazaki is. Let's 
Will Miyazaki, the other guy, is in a totally different realm. By the way, if you guys haven't heard, um, if you guys are Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli fans, um, they're talking about making Ghibli Land in Japan. So, like Disneyland, right? But everything is based around uh, Studio Ghibli. Ghibli, Ghibli. All right, Spirited Away. The other dude is a sculptor that um, I just have to bow down to. I mean, this guy's freaking. I saw this guy at uh, Monster Palooza. I've been watching him po his postings for a long, long time. His name is Spider Zero or Simon Lee. And he is uh, best among the best. This guy is amazing. Um, and, but his aesthetic is very Japanese, even when he's not doing something that's uh, related to Japanese culture. Um, he's very gestural, very just beautiful, stunning silhouettes. And, you know, this good art and feeds my head. You know, when I see other people making good art, it inspires me to make good art. You know, um, you got to put good things in your brain for good things to come out. Um, yeah, just stunning work. Most of it uncastable, but still stunning work, you know? Like, who cares? Kaiju. And uh, just to just to promote <laughs> Simon Lee a little more, I guess, um, I'll show you um, not just not just is he is he an amazing artist, not just is he an amazing sculptor and and has this amazing like uh, design sensibility and, and capability, but Let's see. Let's look at this piece. All right. So aliens versus predators. Queen alien and predators come in attacking. This was done at Monster Palooza a couple years ago. It's called The Last Stand. Um, and I wish that was a higher resolution image. There we go. This was done in two days. <laughs> two days. All right. You guys should be ooing and aahing. Anyways, enough about Simon Lee. But he's a good source for, uh, yeah, it is insane. Um, he's a good source for inspiration. This is the one he did the year before, and it was a little zombie attack. And he did that in, in two days as well. It was just amazing him squeeze out a foot with, like, you know, two finger pushes. Anyways, good art begets good art. So let's see, where am I going with this guy? I want to pull from somewhere else. I want to pull from somewhere else. And this time I'm doing it in just straight Dynamesh. Uh, 